Hello everyone, I'm Lazy Grouse, and we are back on the old world map, and we're going out to plunder the seas and coast this time with Lokir Felhart and his Dark Elf Corsairs. Because I wanted to play some Dark Elves, and we've played a lot on land on this map. So in this campaign, we're gonna sail around with Lokir Felhart and our Black Arcs along the coast and seas, and see what we can get done. So we're going out pirating. And we start in Norska, so once we've secured our starting position, I think it's only natural that we go and raid the northern coast of the Empire for gold glory and slave labor. And then probably go and take the greatest harbor of the old world, Marienburg. Which will make us loads of money, hopefully, and will probably make it our main base. And from there we can go deeper into the Empire, along the rivers, or just sail around Bretonia and just go from there. But this is much too far into the game and way more planning than I usually do, so we'll see what we do when we get there. And as usual, we're playing with SFO, and we get a lot of fun stuff from SFO, like our own personal Black Ark for Lokir, so he's a Black Ark that can go on land, which is awesome. We got a hero from our Black Ark, some unique Corsairs, but that is pretty high tier, so it'll be a while before we can use them. We got some different variants of Sea Dragons that is exclusive to Lokir, which will be fun to play with and some new tech that we'll get to eventually. But what I'm most excited for is the GCCM mod, which adds huge siege maps for iconic places, and one of them is Marienburg, so I'm really looking forward to that, because I haven't seen these maps, because I wanted to see them for the first time when we get there. So it'll be a fun surprise, and I don't know all of the maps that's been changed either, so there might be some fun map surprises that I didn't expect. But let's just get to buffing the AI factions and get this party started. So we are just going to go in and buff some factions here. And first of all, obviously the Empire. Because we are going in and raiding lots of Empires, so strong buff for them. I don't want to buff Norska because um, I don't know if we're going to be friends with them or not. If we're going to fight them, I would like to buff them because they're all around us. But I think they're just going to be friends with us and they're going to overrun the Empire if I buff them too much, so we're going to leave them be. Um, we are going to buff Kislev though, probably. Uh, with a... Well, let's give him a strong buff, just in case they end up being an enemy. Let's buff uh, probably the Dwarves. We'll give them a medium buff. I don't know if we're going to fight them a lot, but just in case, it'll be fun. There is some in Bretonia, and uh, I know... What's his face? Ironbrow is down by uh, whatever Spain is called. And if we end up fighting him, that could be fun. Who else? Oh, right, Bretonia. Of course, Bretonia. Strong buff for them. Probably maybe a medium buff for Greenskins if we end up going there. Oh, Vampire co uh, Coast. We're gonna definitely fight them, so give them a strong buff. High Elf basically don't exist until we get to the Southland, so probably not any point in doing that. Is there anyone else? I don't know if there's anyone else that we need to buff, really. Maybe Ogre, Ogre Kingdoms because they always die, so give them a medium buff so we might see them and maybe get to fight them a little bit. I guess medium buff to the Wood Elves too, just in case. And I think that's pretty good. Hit me up in the comments if you think I missed anyone, but I'm gonna go with that for now. And anyone else notice that she is really tall, or Lokir is really short, because she's like a head taller than Lokir. I guess his posture doesn't help, but damn, she is. She is tall. Oh, and we start with a black arc, which is sweet, but we'll get to that in a sec. So, first of all, let's just move up, and let's actually see what kind of... Oh, that is terrible for a caster. Because when she gets attacked, she is gonna die quickly. And we're not really going to use you for fighting. I mean, I guess if it comes to it, I guess you might do a little bit extra damage now. But yeah, that's that's pretty bad. Alright, well, gotta play with what we get, I suppose. So, yeah. Go and kill this guy. And Oh, Pyrrhic victory. Oh, we are playing with very hard, very hard, as usual, with the AI stats just cranked through the roof. So, yeah. But I think we'll be fine. The Black Arc Corsairs are really good, and uh, Loker is also really good, especially against infantry, so we should be alright here. So I guess we start with a pretty vanilla army. We just got some normal infantry elves, which is, I mean, they're fine. They're gonna do the trick, but 
Nothing fancy, except for the Manticore, but I wouldn't call Manticores fancy. They're they're sweet. I do like the Manticores, but... Yeah, we... I wish we'd start with a Sea Drake or a Hell Drake pack or something like that. That would be fun. But this... this will be fun. Fine. Let's park you there. We are gonna go and skirmish with you, because you... you got pretty good anti-large. Well, not a lot, but there's two projectiles, and... Uh, yeah, that's actually pretty good. So, we'll do some pretty good damage against their horsemen if they try to murder us, so that's gonna be fine. And we're gonna make loads of groups here, I guess. Ooh, and we get the... We're always gonna have our special abilities here, so that's gonna be sweet. And I guess they're not really attacking. Um, do we wanna just claim the high ground here? I think we are, and I'm gonna just fast forward until we're in position here. And, oh, we are not paused. Yeah. It looked like we were paused for a sec, but we are not. So I'm just gonna speed up until we get there, unless they start attack. Where are you going? Oh, you're going around the thing. So this is gonna be fine. All right, so we're pretty much in position and we're gonna go and harass a little bit. Just wanna minimize some losses here because, uh, well, I don't wanna take too much damage in the beginning. And this is actually a pretty strong starting army. So let's get some volleys off. Not great. Kind of hoping that they would chase us with some Marauder Horsemen, but... Wait, are they only going out with... Alright, I guess we'll... We'll kite them to our front line then. I'll... I'll take it. Um, okay, they're using a lot of our... A lot of our ammo here, but I guess that is fine. We should start shooting with our... With our Dark Shards here. Charge in with our Corsairs and low here. Probably try to... Oh, you can... Nah, let's go and chase down these horsemen. Let's go after you. We'll go after you. Because you're going to be great at that. And Oh, shit. Yeah, we are slaughtering these marauders. And Loki is such a cool character. It is, it's just something about dual-wielding characters that are really gets to me. Ooh, head of that guy. Just really think he's cool. And I do really like foot characters. Although, might not be a foot character for that long, since uh, we do get a sea dragon mount for him eventually, and it's gonna be sweet. Uh, let's just... Oh, shit. Uh, no, you stay and fight there. Let... Oh, shit, right. Al already forgetting about the sky cauldron or... All of these things in general. So let's bombard there. Oh, and this is gonna be a good one, I think. Very nice. And not a great hit, but I guess we avoided our guys pretty much, so that's good. So you can get out of the way. Let's start draining you a little bit and start murdering that guy. And we should probably get Loki on him. Right, we got a vile net too. Sweet. That's just a snare with some damage over time. That is excellent. So, bind them down. Start chasing these guys instead. And you'll go and murder the Lord. Although, he doesn't have a lot of HP left, so... You're actually taking quite a bit of damage. That's alright. Just chase you. And kill you. And you're not in range of anything. That's fine. We're just gonna enjoy watching Loki duel this guy. Wait, where is Loki? There he is. No? That was just some random elf. Wait, where is Loki? What are you doing, Loki? Oh, I, <laughs> I thought he was getting there. Oh, that's fine. Well, we took quite a bit of damage, but that is fine. I think... I think that's an acceptable amount of damage. And there we go. First battle. And never mind, we only lost 28. It looked way worse than it actually was, so this is fine. And we'll actually heal up if we just take the slaves. Although, I do kind of want the money. And we're not that hurt. And we're not in a rush to get slaves early on. I think I'd rather have the money because I do, I do have a plan. I have planned out, like, the first three or four turns-ish. 
because this is going to take us a little bit to get to. So we are going to march over there, I think. Actually, it is going to take us two turns. Hmm, that doesn't seem right. So yeah, let's march you over there. We don't need to recruit anything for you this turn. You, however, we are gonna start sending you over to Fjirgard. Because I'm thinking Lokir goes down to take Trollfjord and Oosterberg. You go up north and just go along the coast because both of these are ports. So we can take these with our black arcs. So let's get two of those. Two of those. No, oh, let's not spend all of our money though. But I think that's gonna be... Is that gonna be enough? Oh shit, these are... I thought this was a minor settlement. Okay, I guess I haven't planned this out as well as I thought. I think we can take this with uh, four units. But I was gonna grab that. Because we do have the Black Ark abilities. We have a Lord. And uh, the Black Ark Corsairs are amazing early game. So I think that's gonna be fine. And, oh right, we can get a master here too. Oh, I hadn't planned on that either. <laughs> Ooh, that's really good. Weapon strength for all, the entire army. Okay, I've, I've been uh, doing a terrible job like planning this because I didn't, I didn't think of that. But that's fine. That's just going to help. We're going to get ourselves a master. And we're going to start with some growth here. I would like the post-battle loot, but... Early growth is just good, and we might grab this, because uh, I feel like we are going to do a lot of fighting, so lots of growth from just fighting is good. And then we'll have some port income, we'll grab some post-battle loot, and I think that's most of what we need. Because this doesn't buff Corsairs, so I don't think we're going to have that many bleak swords and... Oh wait, this is Black Archer. No, never mind, this is going to be good. <laughs> never mind. But there we go, now we can pass the first turn. And we've already done that. Thank you. So... Uh, I guess we'll meet up over here. Because we're gonna take Trollfjord this turn. And we'll get around... Somewhere around here? So yeah, just go as far as you can over here and we'll meet up next turn. And let's go and take Trollfjord. Hopefully we can get some good money here. And I don't want to take any unnecessary damage here, because other results are rough. Even though it says low casualty, so we're gonna fight this real quick, and it's gonna be fine. But yeah, we're just gonna preserve some health to get a nice and smooth early game here. So you can go and skirmish, but we'll, we'll go pretty much right away. We're gonna be pretty fine here, I think. There we go. And start the battle, we'll move up a little bit, you'll start harassing, and uh, we should outrange these, right? No, okay, our range is absolutely terrible, but they are in the back line, so this might be good enough. Yeah, this is good enough, we can start doing some damage here, just fall back, and why aren't they sending everything? They, Why do they do this? They did this last battle too, they just kind of kind of doing stupid shit <laughs> all right um let's slow this down to normal speed we'll um, root those guys send in our corsairs and actually you can stay there just preserve some some of your units send in the boys and shoot the guys that are rooted because these guys are gonna go down quick and oh actually he's getting a root and uh, and using one of these is really good. I hadn't thought of that. I, I should have thought of that. <laughs> but as it turns out, my planning wasn't that very, very good. Because <laughs> I had thought out my first turns, but turns out I'm just changing everything anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but that's all right. I have a a very rough thought of how I want to do things at the very least. Oh, and you can go and just 
pump this guy around. That's what you're gonna be doing best here. You got this little chimera boy. You're taking a little bit of damage. But that's fine. You should all be running here though. Because that should be army losses, really. Oh, terrified. But yeah, that is not army losses? Wait. What's left? Okay, there we go. Excellent. And yeah, that's <laughs> that's way better than the other assault would have probably done. Ooh. That's gonna be pretty good for the for the Corsairs. So let's loot and occupy, grab a bunch of slaves, some replenishment, and we should be feeling pretty good here. Yeah, I like that. So, you are just gonna recruit a couple more of those guys. Well, you're gonna recruit a couple of those guys in general. Not more, just a couple of them. And we'll go and take this next... Okay, you are pretty hurt for some reason, but I still want to get the, still want to get the Corsair handbows here. And uh, they are recruiting here. And they're also, why are they so hurt everywhere? Okay, doesn't make any sense to me. Well, in that case, I don't think we need to recruit anything here. If that was a healthy garrison, then I would have definitely just recruited... Probably another handbow or another black arc, but for some reason it's just... Yeah, I don't know what's going on. But that is fine. Oh, we should probably repair this because we do plan on on building this place up. So that's going to be good. And just pass the... And he's recruiting very slowly. All right, well, that's good. And we get there in two turns. Beautiful. Okay. So, send you in like that. And I'm still pretty conf... Oh, actually. You're gonna upgrade next turn. That probably heals this up and gives you more stuff, so... I think for safety... Might grab, like, one of each. We're gonna want more of those anyway, so... That's gonna be good. Let's... Get you going and go and take Fjirgar. Yeah, we should be able to take that. They're kind of injured. And uh, the Black Arcs are amazing early game. So, yeah, let's go and kill these guys. Ugh, Norsken settlements. Luckily, we only have four units, so we're not going to get that uh, clogged up anywhere. And uh, I think this is probably where we want to go. Don't want to go where there's too high of walls, because these guys might just not understand how to shoot in that case so yeah let's just move them up as close to the line as possible move you up a little bit and uh, yeah that should be fine probably put you on combat though because uh, damn you do a good amount of missile damage though it's pretty nice but we might oh that's a really good melee attack though yeah you'll be you'll do great so i guess uh Go and attack these guys. We'll uh, try to squeeze these guys in here. Hopefully they can shoot a little bit. And uh, I hope they just send in everything here and we can just annihilate them with the Sky Cauldron. The Sky Cauldron is so, so satisfying to use. Oh shit, they're... Oh, okay, they're not running away. Excellent. So we should cut the, these guys to pieces. We can get some help with the la cane of... Kane's Lash, not Kane of Lash. And hopefully that did a little bit of damage. Ooh, and here they come. Yes. Pile on in. Now eat Sky... Sky Cauldron, you sons of bitches. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Oh, you have no idea what you just did, you stupid Norsken idiots. <laughs> Oh, I think we blew up some of our own there. But they definitely took more damage than us. And I think we can still do some soul rain as well. Excellent. Yeah, the infantry isn't going to last 
long, I think. They are getting a bunch of uh, javelins in us, though, which I'm not a fan of. And we are grinding slower than I would like, but we are doing some good damage here. And I'm not even sure you're shooting, so let's try to sneak you past. Let's try to sneak you past. Because they don't seem to be doing anything. And I think... Well, at the very least, they might fight a little bit. So, there's that. And if we could just force pass you through, that would be just perfect. So, yeah. And we are getting through. Perfect. So now we just need another sky, sky cauldron here, because for some reason they're going in with their Marauder Javelins there. And the Corsairs look so badass though. I, I just love dual wielding infantry. It is such a fantasy trope, but I just, I just really like it. It's a good trope. And yeah, you got pretty much got through there. Same with you. Yeah. You should be able to shoot from here a little bit. And we almost have a lane of... <laughs> a lane of cash. A lash of cane. And you should definitely be able to just murder you. We'll send you up in the rear over there. And yeah, just do another sky cauldron. Just blow these motherfuckers up. Oh, is there like a little cannonball-y thing on the end of that? It looked like it. I haven't seen that before. Well, that's neat. Let's go and chase these marauders down. So, kill these guys. We have taken a couple of losses, but not that bad, honestly. Ooh, and now we have murderous prowess. Now they're gonna start dying. Wunderbar! Well, murder those guys. Um, we still got you in there, but you know what? It's duel time! And we can probably soul rain those guys. And probably just yeah, send you after. It's gonna be fine. Might hit our own a little bit over here, but a couple of projectiles doesn't do that much. It's just, if we get a lot of hits, it can do good damage, but yeah. One projectile doesn't really do that much. How much is it per? Okay, 50 with no AP. So, pretty bad against the Black Orcs, but pretty alright against the Marauders. Oh, where are you going? We're supposed to go and duel the idiot. Okay, whatever. Let's just fast forward this until we lose track of him. <laughs> oh, they built a stupid barricade. Nerds. Oh shit, what happened? What happened to you? Oh, you a tower that happened to you. Oh god damn it. Stupid tower. Well that's just oh that's just rude. Okay, murder this guy. He should break pretty quickly. Oh, I hate the towers. Oh I hate the towers so much, they do so much damage to my corsairs. Ah you bastards. Oh well. That's alright. Still pretty alright. But right, yeah, the the black arc uh, bombards are gonna be so good. Like, throughout this entire campaign, because we're gonna keep getting it, and it's gonna be amazing. Eh, uh, Luton Occupied is. I don't think we're gonna keep these, but I think we can maybe sell them to the Slaneshi faction. Yeah, so let's not tax this. I'm gonna try to stabilize this a little bit. And this is, yeah, this is dropping fast though, but 30 of that is just for one turn, so that's going to be fine. Oh, and Imperium power is plus 10. Oh shit, that is, well, that is helpful. I'll take it. We're going to root marcher on you. But, yeah, the devastation and climate and chaos undivided, conquest and all of that stuff isn't, isn't helping though. <laughs> But yeah, it's gonna be fine. Um, that is the same turn. I wonder, probably get us another one of you. Since we took so much damage and there is a lot of stuff in there. I think we might not need it. Here. 
Although we might be two turns away from that anyway, so we can... We can probably recruit next turn. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna make sure that we that we can take this next turn. It's gonna be fine. Oh, that cowardly little bitch just left Oseberg. Um, you do reinforce that, don't? Yeah, okay. You're you're gonna be in the fight anyway, but I didn't expect him to do that. So upgrade that, and uh, let's go and take Oseberg. And yeah, that was a weird move. I don't know what he was thinking there, but I'll take it. And uh, yeah, obviously just gonna give that to one of the Black Arcs. <laughs> that is gonna be... Oh, he's gonna be strong. 50 weapon strength on a, well, starting unit. That is pretty nasty. Alright, so we got a lot of narrow entrances and a lot of infantry to get in there, so... I think we'll uh, spread these guys around a little bit. Let's get these out of the way though. Keep one of those there and uh, we can be there to help. So these guys are gonna be the main invasion force here. Spread you out a little bit though, like so. But uh, I'm gonna send some of these guys down here because I also want to just take out a bunch of points while the rest of their army isn't really here. So we're just gonna blitz in, try to take these points, take out the towers, and uh, then finish off the army that comes behind us. I think that's reasonable. So move on up, and they left no defenders here. All right, well, in that case, you guys just go and take that point. You'll go to the, to the capture point back there. Yeah, they do have a piercing tower there. Alright. So, go in and murder. Go in and murder. Start shooting stuff. And start shooting those guys. Start shooting when you can. And... Um, I don't know if they have any characters, but... Oh, wait. That's probably the wrong thing to drain because we're shooting that anyway. So, who cares? But that's fine. That's... Send you in, start murder some marauders. And let's lock these guys down right there. Get ourselves a sky cauldron on them. Get some soul rain over there. You're doing your thing. Let's have a look at this. Oh, then let's go with them. Cute. Holy crap, you are taking so much damage. Oh, why are you taking so much damage? Oh crap. Um, got a lash right there. You should be breaking here, I feel like. A little bit of damage. And I don't know if you're shooting anything. But I feel like you should be breaking. I kind of want to start shooting these over here. Oh, there's a Marauder Chieftain in here. Murder him. We buff him up. Start killing that. I thought they didn't have a character. Okay, well, that should surely just break him, right? Okay, send you in to fight in that case. And you can go in and fight too. Oh, click the outside window. Alright, so you're capturing. You can go and capture over there, I suppose. You're helping. And you should start just draining that lady. Good. So now we just start getting ready for that if these guys aren't... Well, let's start capping stuff. These guys need to die. And we are winning this duel, though. But that's not very surprising, because Loki is kind of a beast when he co Did he just hit Loki? <laughs> well, he's shoving that guy a lot. Okay, well, get on top of him. You guys go and cap that. 
you go and cap this, turn that tower off. And yeah, let's go and shoot stuff while they're running away. And you can go and... Oh, hello. Go and kill him and cap that. And go up. And now we're gonna be defending this city. You better get back in here, though. Oh, uh, get, get on the point. Get on the point. And keep capping this. Alright, so I guess we're just gonna speed this up a little bit until we start fighting these guys. I guess we are gonna fight these, but... What are you doing? But these should die pretty quick. Oh shit, I was starting to set up <laughs> a big defense over here and they just snuck behind me. Alright, uh, send those guys up. We'll uh, bring you there to fight there as well. And Oh shit, you're still here. Um, I guess bring you around, run away from them. Okay, that didn't go as planned. I forgot about this little lane. But that's okay. Where's the rest? I guess most of them are coming up through, through here, which is fine. We, that's what we planned for. And actually, here comes a lot more over there, so yeah. Send you up over there. Well, uh, Sky Cauldron, that is actually going to be pretty good. Get you ready. Get you ready. We're very ready over there. And we're pretty ready over here as well. Yeah, they should go down pretty quick. And we are controlling this and we are getting capture points for it. So stand there, get ready for them. And are we getting this or are they getting this? I think they are getting this. But here they... Oh shit! No, that was a Marauder Chieftain. It looked like it was a female for a sec, but... Yeah, this is fine. Send you in there. Send you in. Send you in there. Let's start draining the chieftain. And these guys are thoroughly dead. So we can probably send them down the hill there. It's gonna be fine. And just sneak by this guy, although he is getting absolutely murdered by Loki here. You're doing great, buddy. Get the fucker. Come on, hit him. There you go. Okay. Let's get in there. He is shattered. And there's even more coming up over there. Okay. Well, go and surprise them. We do have a Sky Lantern. No, not Sky Lantern. That's, that's the wrong faction. <laughs> we do have a Sky Cauldron. That's gonna be fine. Let's. We're gonna pile on in, so let's get a soul rain in there. And we should just need to do a little bit of damage on you, I think, and that's probably gonna be army losses. So. Yeah, there we go. So that was quite a long one, but I think we got through that pretty well. And yeah, 84 is pretty good. We got a lot of slaves from that too, and a nice healthy amount of money. Nice. So, loot and occupy this, and now we just need to stabilize this whole place because it is going to be a little bit... a little bit rowdy <laughs> after we've uh, looted and occupied our way through this place. But that's going to be pretty good. And uh, we do have to kill this guy, but that is fine. We've secured our starting area, and we'll probably start by getting some control over here. I think that's going to be alright. And do we get there in two turns? Oh, oh shit, that is really laggy. Okay, it really doesn't want to like, calculate it, so we'll go over there. Why are you so, so against me clicking on that? Okay, we do get there in two turns, which is great. Ooh, we can upgrade that. And that's gonna give us our first Black Arc Reaver. Does it increase... No, it doesn't increase the capacity. I think that's later up. No? How do we get more capacity then? Oh, I think they, ch they share 
a thing with Knight Assassin, so... Which isn't increased here either. Wait, how do we get more... Oh, right, it's probably in buildings and not in black arcs, right? Yeah, 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 that's how we get more Black Ark Reavers. Right, so we need to get a couple of Shrine of Canes if we want more of them. I don't know what our starting cap is, but I would like to have a couple of them because they're cool. And just grab one of each of those. That is all of our money, but we should be able to make some money here, actually. How much would you give me for Fear Guard? Ooh, you really want that? 2,000. Not that much. If we grab some trade too. Well, that's I guess that's all you have. Maybe we'll check again next turn. Although, we're gonna sell this to them too, probably. Oh, can we sell it to you? Or is the mountains in the way? North, I will hear you. Let's find some. No, you only want Troll Fjord and uh, this thing. Yeah, you can't reach that because the mountains is in the way. All right. Well, in that case, I'm gonna take the two two point seven k. It's gonna be good enough. Reveal the desires you hide. I'm gonna take what we can get. There we go. Because. Uh, it's gonna be super unstable, so I don't want to bother with it. And that's gonna... I think that resets our... Our... Whatchamacallit? It also resets our control when we take this, so it's not gonna take a bunch of loot and occupy rowdiness from that. Ooh, and we have our first surplus too, so we're gonna grab that right away. Because we're gonna need more Black Ark Girls. That is our first priority here. And we already have a have some... Uh, right, and holy crap, that is a long cooldown. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we'll get to use this, like, twice maybe, in one campaign. It is very good though. Lots of post-battle uh, post loot, lots of replenishment, and some good abilities, so... I guess we'll hit this when we need it, probably when we get to the Empire. And we can hit this, but... I don't think this matters that much. I guess the experience for sorceresses is kind of nice. But we'll probably do that if we have more sorceresses sometime. Because that is also a really long cooldown. And we'll get plenty of levels on our sorceress because we only really need casting on her. So she'll get what she needs throughout just fighting stuff. This is what's the good... This is the good stuff though. Income from sacking, movement range, armor and stuff for... Wait, do we not already call fair for Corsairs? Oh, is that specific for you? Yes. Okay. So it's not useless, it's just useless for Loki here. Which, that's fine. Wait, did we... Oh, wait. What did we do? Oh, we recruited two things there. Um, let's take one away because I don't think we need both probably I'd rather just upgrade that instead and I think that's gonna be good yeah I'm sure that's fine where did that guy go did he, did he go and uh, try to ambush me or something kind of looks like he did because he disappeared although oh no wait he's right over there isn't he Probably is. Alright, well, let's start by going in and taking this. They are pretty hurt, but I think we can take it. The Blackheart Corsairs are just wonderful. Because I figure all of our Blackheart Corsairs handbows can definitely take out the uh, Marauder hun Hunters. And I think two Blackheart Corsairs can take three Marauders. Like, that melee attack difference is pretty nuts. And the armor difference is also pretty nuts. So yeah, that should be alright. So, let's set up over there. You guys are gonna go and harass them. And uh, you're just gonna sit there, shoot. And uh, once you get into range, you are gonna be just really good at fighting. 
Oh, and uh, I guess the the balance doesn't believe in us, but we'll see. All right, so we're just gonna stay right out of range for the hunters, and uh, never mind. There, they get really eager when we get like just within range, but not within their range, and they just send their marauders. It's weird, right? <laughs> that's it's not just me. That's it's a weird thing to do. But we're getting some good damage. They are ignoring us, so still, I'll I'll take it. Oh, go in and get your volleys. Okay, now they're going. Well, that's a lot of free damage, and we'll get to fight for a little bit of extra time before they get to us. And uh, we're gonna get in a really nice blob for our for our sky cauldron and soul rains and all that fun stuff. So, get up on the flanks. You're gonna go around... Okay, first of all, let's get a Sky Cauldron right there. Let that cast. Go into fight over there. Go into fight over there. Uh, cast that. Oh, that's very close to our guys. Ooh, that is not good. Well, you stay and fight. All right, they are trying to get through there. That's all right. That's all right. Okay. So you'll just sit on the edge there, try to shoot and do some damage. You should be grinding through this. Hopefully you'll grind through that. And hopefully we can get to Murderous Prowess pretty quick. Because if we can get to Murderous Prowess, then we absolutely win. The fact that they have a, mo a chieftain helping out here is not great for us, and we are surrounded. You know what? We need to go and help these guys out. Oh, but we are winning the front line really handily. So you can chase that, I guess. You'll go down and help out with that, because we should be winning that. But yeah, we are losing that. So send you in. Go and duel this guy. We got a health potion, so we should be all right. Just spread you out a little bit so we get some surface area and go in and fight. Go in and fight, try to pull you out. And you should be back soon, though, so you'll. You can come in and uh, shoot them in the back, but that is. There's the murderous prowess, so now we should start just cutting through these guys. So you run around and shoot your stuff, you're back, you run around and shoot your stuff, and uh, that is most things routing. So chase you, you can come over and help out with that, you'll stay here and fight. We don't really have any good Sky Cauldron targets, but maybe you, but you're gonna route as soon as we get there, and we got a beautiful duel here. Oh, this is a, this is gonna be an awesome duel. Oh, turn, turn around, you idiot! Stab him! Oh, you got this! Come on, you got in. Oh wait, drink your potion! I don't know. If, I don't know if the heal works after. No, it doesn't work after the battle is decided. Shit. Well, that's all right. We're gonna we're gonna recover for a couple of turns now. We're fine. There we go. That is most of what I... Well, that is all I wanted to take in our first couple of turns. And, ooh, we finished our tech too. So do we want to post-battle loot first? I think so, because, I mean, while the growth is good, it is a couple of extra turns, and the post-battle loot is gonna be good the entire game. And we did unlock this. I don't think we need that right now, though. I guess we'll pop that if something is gonna gonna rebel or we need to use some dick tests, but that is uh that is a long cooldown, so we don't wanna use it for nothing. So, you leveled up. Let's uh I mean I want you to be an absolute raid boss. Because you're gonna get yourself the sea dragon later on. That is gonna be ranked 20 though, so he's gonna be a foot character for quite a while. But I don't mind it. I think he's badass as a foot character. But do we just grab a bunch of bonus 
stats for our Corsairs. We're likely gonna have Corsairs most of the game. Because we're gonna probably grab some elite units and some monsters as well, but we'll probably still have like a core of uh, Corsairs. Although I don't think we buffed them that much, do we? I just kind of like Corsairs. <laughs> yeah, we're just lowering the upkeep. But that is still pretty good. And we are likely going to have at least at least a couple. And if we get the Creeping Dread, then we're absolutely going to have some Creeping Dread. So that's pretty good. So, yeah, let's grab just those. They're going to be so good early game. And that's going to keep them relevant throughout the campaign, I think. And uh, now that we're done with this... Oh, first of all, let's piece you out. How much money you got? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> How do you have so much money? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, you... <laughs> it's your lucky day because you get to live. Oh, shit. I was not ready for that. Okay, well, let's upgrade this for more growth. And, uh, yeah, you're just gonna come down and join Lokir, because I think we're gonna take out these guys. Wait, there's Southern Realms? You come bearing arms. Did I enable Southern Realms mod, or did they just, are they just called Southern Realms? I guess they're just called Southern Realms, because I don't think I've enabled Southern Realms. Either way, I think we're gonna go and fight these guys first, because <laughs> they're not gonna... They're not gonna live here for very long, surrounded by Norskans and demons, and if someone's gonna kill them, we might as well. And all of their stuff is harbor, so that's just that's just what we want. So that is gonna be lots of turns, so I think we're just popping into the water, right? Probably. Oh, and we are definitely upgrading that. So pop into the water. And uh Probably start getting some more Corsairs. Because we're going to want a full stack pretty soon. Our income should start getting better once we start getting some... Why is our income so low from ports? Hmm. Is it because of... No, that's just neutral. That's a lot of extra control though. I like that. I don't know why our... Oh, because we are not having a good time control-wise. Oh, because this asshole is raiding us. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, well, I guess we want some growth anyway. So we're gonna stop collecting income here for some extra growth and for some control. But you better get, out, get the hell out of here before I change my mind about you. Oh, and you leveled. And we are... Definitely going down. Actually, are we definitely going down the blue tree here? I would like to lower the upkeep a little bit extra with Quartermaster and Renowned and Feared. And you're j you are gonna like loot and sack a lot. So infamous raiders and dreaded slavers seems some like some really good skills to have. And we'll probably not tax that because we're probably just gonna sell it to you or. We could sell it back to you, depending on how much money you got. Doubt you have anything, because I think we just we just took it all. So we'll we'll see what people pay us for it next turn, but we're not gonna keep it. It's it's a bad climate, and I don't want to be that far north. And we got our first quest, so that's gonna give us the red blades, which is pretty good. Although you have, don't you have like really good armor piercing already? No, actually you're right down the middle. Don't know if that if you change anything, but yeah, it's it's still useful. So that's gonna be pretty good. The weapon strength and melee attack is probably the biggest thing there, and sacking is pretty good too. But ah, oh, wait, what? We have to black iron fort. Isn't that like? Can, can I zoom to it? Why did it come out twice? But I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's right smack dab in the middle of Norska. Ah, oh, shit. Well, that ruins my plans. Well, I guess if we just murder our way through here, go down to... Uh, go down to Nordland. Oh, wait, that's Corone. Yeah, I guess we're gonna go down over here anyway. 
So we might just swing through, sack some stuff while we're at it, and maybe get some money. Yeah, we'll see. I'm not a fan of having to go in there. I was mostly hoping to just murder stuff through here and then go into into uh, Marienburg, but I guess that's gonna have to be all right. Wait, why is our movement so... What the hell is up with our movement? I guess we borrowed a lot from... Oh, okay, there we go. We were in, <laughs> we were in the camp stands. Okay, so now we're just trying to get this, though. So... I mean, we can attack that next turn. Definitely. So, let's... Ooh, that is full of stuff, though. All right. So let's grab uh, one of each, I think. But, I mean, our infantry should absolutely mince their stuff. This, the great swords are definitely gonna be a problem. But we can probably deal with that. We could skip them and just go to tra Traktatsi and see. And what kind of garrison do they have here? Not that much. It is a field battle prop though, unless they have... No, they don't have a garrison, so yeah. We're gonna see about that, but we're gonna see about that next episode. Because uh, apparently my cat decided that it's food time. And it's also starting to be a pretty long episode, and it is about time to end this. Although, do we have any good Black Ark Reavers? Tough is pretty good. I like the extra armor and defense. That's always nice. Ooh, money from sacking and weapon strength is pretty good. Heroic killing blow. And that's never gonna happen because there's not a lot of high elf on this map. But yeah, we're gonna end this episode here. Next episode, we're gonna start murdering this and um, either go to the Northern Empire or at the very least, maybe go towards that. So yeah, we'll see. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first episode. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.